I'm on page 21 of our Osborne book, Spreadsheet Basics. We're on activity one, where we're going to look at setting up a new workbook. In this first exercise, we'll create a simple spreadsheet to record time worked on various activities. Stage one. This stage is all about entering some text to form the basic layer of our spreadsheet. So we need to open a new workbook. If you haven't opened up Excel, double click on Excel, go to new and then click on blank workbook. When you have double clicked, you'll see your screen will look a bit like mine. We want to move to sheet one. Sheet one is the first sheet on an Excel spreadsheet. So that's the default name. We want to rename that as time data. So I'm going to right click rename and I'm going to type time data. Making sure you spell it exactly how it states in the book. You could either press enter or click anywhere on your Excel spreadsheet and just check that the name has taken. If it hasn't, redo the steps. In A1, we want to enter work bookings. In A2, we want to enter client. In B2, C2, D2, we want to enter week 1, week 2, week 3. So, as they are consistent, I could use my mouse, which is a white plus right now, Go to the corner of the cell where there's a green box, left click hold and drag. When I'm happy, I can let go and you'll see that it's changed it, week one, week two, week three. If I got week one, week one, week one, it means I've got it as copy cells. So I just need to change it to fill cells and it will do it consistently. We now want to enter our client name, so we're going to type Smiths Limited, Jones Redwoods and Underhills. We want to save our worksheet with the file name exercise 1. So, as I'm saving it for the first time, it will be file save as. I'll then call it exercise 1. When I'm done, I'm going to save. And there we have it. Stage 1 is now complete.